Praise the Lord, saints. Let's go ahead and go before the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and are in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Father God, we just come before you tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you and thank you right now, Lord God. Hallelujah for another day, Lord God. Another day, God, that you grace us to be in your house, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Another day, God, hallelujah, that you returned our souls back to us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another day, God, that you gave us a fresh cup of mercy, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, for this day, Lord God, this is the day that you have made, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No regardless of any attacks that tried to come our way lord god we thank you lord god that nothing stopped us father from getting to the sanctuary lord god in the name of jesus hallelujah from where our help comes from oh god we thank you tonight lord god for all those that we love lord god that we had yes last week lord god that we still have today father god in the name of jesus for everything we had yes last week god that we still have today, Lord God. We thank you for our peace, Lord God. We thank you for joy, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for being our healer, Lord God, for touching our bodies, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. When the enemy tries to rain chaos, hallelujah, in our minds, God, we thank you, Father, for being Jehovah Shalom, oh God for being our peace father god in the name of jesus hallelujah father for reminding us hallelujah there is nothing that is too hard for you lord god in the name of jesus hallelujah we praise you god hallelujah we ask you to continue lord god to cover all of those souls in hawaii lord god in maui father god in the name of jesus lord god those souls hallelujah who lost their homes in philadelphia lord god in pennsylvania wherever they were lord Lord God, wherever place they were in, Lord God. Three homes got destroyed, Lord God, but we have a roof over our heads tonight, Lord God. We have a place to sleep, Lord God. Hallelujah. We have food to eat, Lord God. None of us are in a shelter tonight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. None of us are in a hospital bed, hallelujah, connected to a vent, Father God. So we have ample things to praise you for, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just to be able to walk and talk, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We take our, our feet for granted. We take even our toes for granted. Hallelujah. The joints that connect each part of us, oh God. We take it for granted, God. Hallelujah. But Father, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Despite everything, Lord God, we walked in here tonight, Lord God. We didn't get rolled in hallelujah in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord God we thank you for our teacher tonight Lord God who's coming to bring your word father God in the name of Jesus father we ask you God that you would bless her with the virtue she needs to bring that word Lord God hallelujah we thank you Lord God we ask you to bless us with an ear to hear it Lord God you always bless her with wisdom to speak father God in the name of Jesus so we lift her up before you oh God hallelujah in Jesus mighty name watch over our officer Dante tonight keep him out there safe Lord God in in Jesus name. Amen and amen.
So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. I am the head, I am not the tail, I am above only, I am not beneath, I am increase, I am prosperity, I am abundance, I am favor, I am a homeowner, I am not a renter, I am singing, I am dancing, I am health, I am wealth, I am a blessing to the kingdom. I'm a blessing to the nations. I'm a blessing to the world. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Psalms 118.24 this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, y'all thank God for this day. Oh, come on, y'all. Just because you had a boring day or an okay day, you can't do God like that. Especially not today because I'm telling you, he's going to do something special and you're going to regret that you didn't give him the praise and the honor when he does for you what he's about to do. Now, I could drag it out, but I'm not going to drag it out because we on a time. <laughs> we on a timer. Uh, I am honored and blessed to introduce to you guys somebody. But before, real quick, before she take the microphone, and I know she don't, <laughs> she's like, you trying to drag it out to make me go. She got us like 745, y'all. We're going to be here to 849. <laughs> Uh, I'm blessed to have the Sunday school class that I have, and things get real. Uh, come on now. It, it means a lot. And my class, for those who don't know, is training for service. So those who are in the class, my job is to train them to serve, not just in the sanctuary, but wherever they go. And so one of the requirements, eventually you will have to teach a Bible class. So today, without further ado, my number one, Jesus' cousin her, herself is here, y'all. And give it up for May May is going to bless us teaching. She does all that talking and now she want to act nervous. But I'm, I'm going to stop because I'm, I'm here to receive a word. But y'all got to support my number one. I love you very much. Give it up for May. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. So glad that we're here. I'm not a P. Lenny. That's a bad chick. I am not. She Didn't she teach on, on, on Sunday? She was excellent. And then came upstairs and started whooping on us. And then I'm, I'm not a professor, uh, Brian Bell, but that man can teach too. Cresha yeah. made it back. That child could reach too. <laughs> minister KT. Pastor KT know how to minister to us. But... I have to do what God leads me to do. You guys know, you know, you know what's going on in the world, the fallen world. And God wanted me to let you know that he's going to do something for you. I want us to give God some praise And the praise that I want to, for you guys to do for him is to, I want us to be calm and peaceful. 
I want you to do, you're going to be participant tonight, okay? I want you to, first of all, close your eyes. And if you want to lift up your hands, you can do that. I just want you to praise God with me. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you cared for me in such a special way. I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled. With praise, my heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Calvary. I praise you. And I lift you up. I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you deserve it. You deserve my praise. My hallelujah belongs to you. My thank you, Jesus, belongs to you. The glory, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory and the praise, glory to your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I also want you, I want you to just think on God. Think on the goodness of God. In Genesis 1. In Genesis 1. There's four words. And and I'm going to tell you the four words. In the beginning, God, you can sit down now, but I don't want you to close your eyes. I want you to sit down and and close your eyes. I do. Sit down, close your eyes. In the beginning, God, I want you to think on that. What comes to your mind when you think on that? In the beginning, God. God, where is it taking you? I know you know that the rest of it. But where do you go? And as you think about this, then I would love for you to be able to be bold and tell me when I ask you what went in your mind, what went in your head When you heard, in the beginning, God. Okay, you can open your eyes now. If you're bold enough, one or two or three of you, when you hear hear that, when you think on, in the beginning, God, what do you think about? Bigger than you. That's beautiful. Anybody else brave enough? Betty? Say it a little louder so they can hear you. Oh, beautiful. Come on, Simona. Woo! Come 
on. Anybody else? Grisha. In the beginning, God. My Lord, my Lord. Thank you guys for the bold ones that stood out and said that. Um, Vira and I get together on first Saturdays and we talk about our parents because our parents, they meant so much to us. She was one child and I was one of 16 children. But when Vira told me, Vira, I want you to stand up and tell them what um, Sister Elps, your mom, used to say when she read Genesis 1. Come, come, come up, come up, come up here. What did Mrs. Elps say? My mom used to say that in the beginning, God meant to her that God stepped out of nowhere and stood on nothing. And that is exactly, I love what all of you said. So um, tonight, uh, I want to just say some things about the phenomenal people who are in my life. You guys... Do you understand that God has told me about who you are? He has. And while we are the get together, y'all know I, I don't believe in coincidences. Not a one. Because God plans. In the beginning, God? Come on now. So, he, especially during covid do you know every one of you have been chosen? We have been chosen to be here together. We are the remnant. We are the remnant. This is a, this is a church that houses the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It houses the Holy Ghost. And he, he has ministers in this house to take care of the spirit, the Holy Ghost. I want to thank God for my reader tonight. This is my babe bro. My babe bro, uh, when we had about a hundred or so many uh, people in a choir and all of these people who thought they were all of that came and wanted to audition for the drummer, the, the, the guitarist. I mean, y'all know this, this was the place, you know. Yes, it still is because of you. You guys are here. God had to cut that thing down. Yeah. So, Keith, man, he had that humble spirit. He had a realness. And I could see that. And way back then, he's never, he's always been my support, and he's never, ever let me down. Never. Him and Lisa, they are, you know, all of y'all are my family. I know a little bit about everybody in here. Everybody, my Lord, and I, I'm so glad that God chose me to encourage you. That's what I came to do, to encourage you. I can't do what P. Lenny does. I can't do what Brian does. I can't do what KT does, but I have to do what May Lee does. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I, I, I thank God for Lisa. Lisa has my spirit as well. Lisa loves, so, she loves people. She loves you. This beautiful, y'all are so beautiful. I sit here and I look at, I know y'all be talking about, what Miss May, Maylee got on? What? 
just beautiful. Man. And my, my, my daughter, Miss Coco. Miss Coco, from the beginning, I, I used to sing to her in my stomach. I used to sing, I expect you. We expect you anytime, anytime. Man, and she would just move. I taught her, uh, she, I taught her how to read. Every, she, she, her memory was so good. She had, um, she would read a book that I would read to her all the time. And the girls upstairs in the apartment would say, she one years old, she could read. I said, she can't read. I said, look at how she got the book. The book was turned upside down. But she, she knew every word in that book. My daughter, Lachelle. <laughs> My daughter, Lachelle, is so amazing. She says, Mom... You're my Samuel, and I have got to do the things that I need to do for my Samuel. She does it. Lachelle buys my clothes. Lachelle, the, um, we got a new deck. I sent it to, to, to uh, P. Liddy. I sent it to Sister Barlow, a brand new deck that my insurance company said they weren't going to do anything. That old raggedy thing, it was, it was going down anyway. We're not going to do anything. And Lachelle was like, it's okay, mom. <laughs> I, I got it. I got you, mom. <laughs> Mother's Day present. <laughs> Vira. Vira has been every. Vira is part of my family in Alabama, in California, in Ohio. She's always with me. Queenie. Queenie, Queenie is my twin. She is my twin. She's going to always, she, it's like she just can read my mind and understands where I'm going and she will she will do that Pam I see you up there I see you up there girl I had to tell Pam how she fits in she didn't think that she had a gift I was like girl you gotta be kidding you come to church uh, with the pain and then she, she stays up there now because God has, has made her look out up there. She looks out up there for anybody who try to come up there. That's Pam up there. And then my inner circle. My inner circle, we go out on Sundays after church. I got Deborah Washington. I got Cynthia. Milo sometimes. <laughs> Betty. Vira, we do things together. And I want to tell you guys, um, I knew that I was in trouble here for today. I knew I was going to have to do something because of stand up, Kwana. So Kwana, last Wednesday or Tuesday, I think, um, called me over and she was, I think she was giving me a compliment. But you know how Kwana's face is when she's talking to you? And she'd be so serious. And I looked at Kwana's face and I was like, man, what's going on in her face? Because I saw what God was doing. He'll, he'll, he'll talk to anybody, won't he? He will. And she was telling me, she was complimenting me. She was doing some other things. And then when I cut off, 
I heard the last thing she said, well, you need to look in the mirror then. And I was like, that's not, that's, that's Kwana in the flesh, but that's God telling me, you need to look in the mirror. And so I said, Lord, you want me to do something. And when I got up, you can sit down, Kwana. Thank you, Kwana. <laughs> but when I got up, when I got upstairs, and 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 P. Lenny had just taught, just taught herself off. I mean, down in Lincoln, uh, came back with uh, the kids. Uh, you know, getting their house. She was excited. She looked good. She's beautiful, funny, so funny. And then we got into we got into talking about the sacrifice. And because we were talking about Psalms 51 and 17. And I just felt like I I don't sacrifice because I owe God everything. He changed my life. He gave me another chance after some of the rotten things that I did. I'm looking up here at my Brie and this Brie. And there's just, this one is a queen. This one is a great athlete. And in Dubai, they were in Dubai with me. They was like this with Courtney, with their mom who just... Thank you, Courtney, for getting us to Dubai. We had, and, and so I'm, I'm thinking about that, and and uh, Lord, how I, I would not have gone to any of the places that we've gone if it had not been for Bishop. You know, if it had not been for him, and so uh, I was up there, and then Pastor Linda was talking about how we as a church has to uh, have to uh, do our part. We're training for service. And then I was like, okay, Lord. She said, Maylee, you know, she just made me feel so bad. She's, she's such a perfect example. Five jobs. That's what, uh, that's what Bree told her she had. You're doing five jobs. You're going to Lincoln and you, she's tired, and and I was like, what? She can't bear all that by herself? You know, we have to help out. Ephesians, um, Ephesians 4, 11 through 13, said, he, and he, he, he gave some apostles, some prophets, some uh, evangelists, some pastors and teachers, for the perfection of the saints. And you, that's where y'all going, man. Y'all almost there. Perfect, perfection of the saints, uh, the work of the ministry, uh, the edifying of the body of Christ until we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Unto. So we have to do that. We have to do our parts. And so tonight, what time? What time? Okay, so tonight, um, I just want to tell you what God had me to tell you. He loves y'all so much, but he ain't playing. You know how Bishop be? I'm going to tell you about Bishop. When he said, y'all play too much. Y'all hear that? Y'all play too much. And I know it kind of makes you angry, but it hurts him because he wants us to, to get the fruit. God has given us the know-how to bring souls in for him. And Bishop, is he just goes out there. He's going to talk to anybody who God give him a chance to talk to, to tell him about the Lord to tell them to tell them about if 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 you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ <laughs> you're on your way to hell 
plain and simple. So when you don't, uh, when you sit and act like, uh, you know, you don't get with him and it's hard being up here. It really is hard. So, um, I want to tell you what God told me to tell you. Okay. I had to write it down. Okay, first we started out, first I started out with uh, sacrifices. <laughs> and I read, I did so much study on sacrifices, it just like made me just like, what? There's 309 sacrifices mentioned in the Bible. And it really started with, with God. Let me, let, me just, let me just tell you what Miriam Webster says. Uh, sacrifice, an act of offering to a deity, something precious, the killing of a victim on an altar, something offered in sacrifice, destruction or surrender of something for the sake of something else, something given up or lost, lost, good souls or sacrifice. There's a sacrifice fly, an outfield fly in baseball caught by a fielder after which a runner scores. Sacrifice a hit. It's a bunt in baseball that allows a runner to advance one base while the batter is put out. I'm just like, Lord, is this what you want me to talk about for real? The offering, it's a the offering up of a sacrifice is to, to be regarded as a divine institution. It did not originate with man. God himself appointed it as, as the mode in which acceptable worship was to be offered to him by guilty man. And yet Cain killed Abel. So I was like, Lord, I, 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 I want to encourage my my church family. I said, Lord, what, what is it that you want me to do? What is it that you want me to do, Lord? And he said, here's your subject. The God we serve is a bad God. This is a bad God. Talk to them about my oneness. Talk to them about my nature. Talk to them about who I am because I don't play. I don't play. You've heard that. We've heard that through, through Bishop. Y'all better be careful with Bishop because God answered that man's prayers. That man has favor with God. And when he says, uh, you know, y'all don't, you, you ain't getting it. You, what? God's got to have him fit so he could do what he wants him to do. And so, man, I said, oh, okay, Lord. So where, where, we, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Because God has shown me things in dreams, visions. I, I, I used to be so scared of him showing me visions and dreams. My paper that P. Lenny had us to write on, um, I saw the death angels lying above my bedroom. Huh. I'll say that for another time, but I've seen that. I saw my brother who they didn't know where he was. And so I left, Viral was there that Saturday, and I think um, it was Shell, Vira, Coco might have been there. And I just left them in the kitchen and I went to the living room and I promise you, 
in the living room, there was, um, I do have a TV there, but a screen seemed like it left the TV and it opened up. And when it opened up, I saw my brother walking in the water and he was looking up at, I think it was my family, some the other families who had gone on. And that was that Saturday. And I started screaming and crying because that meant that he had drowned. And so I called Bishop and I was like, no, no, I said, they, I saw this. I just saw this. And I said, water hasn't been good to our family because I had another brother that drowned. And, and he couldn't, I was just, I, I was just, just gone, you know, just. And so he said, wait, May, 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 May. He said, water is good. He said, did you break your water when you had cocoa? Come on. And I said, yes, yeah. And I, I calmed down and I was like, yeah. And y'all know that Sunday, they called me and said, we found the body, your brother's body. The tides brought his body back in. So I don't take God (laughs) for granted. He's done so much for me. He's been there for me when I was a little girl getting in the closets and the enemy would come into the closet with me and tell me to do some crazy stuff. But I know God purposed me, hallelujah, to be here today. I'm here today, y'all. I'm here where God wants me to be, wanted me to be. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. So, Keith is going to, he's going to back me up through the word of God. He's going to read the word of God as I read to you. I brought my apostolic Bible. Okay. There is only one God. And we are to worship him alone. Him alone. There's no other ones. What the first Genesis say? In the beginning, God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, And with all your strength, would you read Deuteronomy 6, 4, and 5 for me, Fabro? Loud and read it like you mean it. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. I am the Lord. That is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Come on now. Did y'all hear that? Okay, that's, that's, that's a warning. That is a warning. Because no matter what's going on in the world, this fallen, stinking, nasty world, God is still in control. And it's, no, it's not any little God and he'll tell, he's going to tell you in Isaiah, there's no God that can match him. None. There's not, not going to be anyone before him or after him. 
The Old Testament emphasizes God's numerical oneness in the strongest possible terms. No one else shares God's glory. He created the universe alone and by himself. No one is before or after him. No one is beside him. There is no one else. No one is equal. No one is equal to him. And no one is like him. Keith, I want you to go to Isaiah and and read all of those verses for me. I'll let you know the first one Keith is going to read is Isaiah 42 and 8. If you don't have it, uh, write it down. If you don't have your Bible with you or your phone with you, write it down. Because you really, really need to remember this. Isaiah 42 and 8. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The Isa- next, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. The next one he's going to read is Isaiah 43. That's chapter 43, 10 through 11. Thank you, Tina, for writing those down. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God. There was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Even I am the Lord, and beside me, there is no Savior. Come on now. Come on. Look. You guys, this is, this is real. I'm This is real. God is real. Real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gives me victory. So many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Come on, y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not trying to entertain you. I'm not trying to, to entertain you. I, you're going to remember this stuff. You're going to remember these verses. Okay? It's all about God. And you living for him. And you, you praising him. And you drawing more people to him souls to him because guess what i know you don't want to hear this but we are in the last days all that fire did you see the home that blew up that thing just blew up sure enough and killed five people and all of those other houses that were around it and they come to say that this person had all of these guns and these bullets and all of that blew up it's real how about 44 we're still in isaiah 44 6 through 8 Chapter 6, thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, I am the last, and besides me, beside me there is no God. You hear that? I am the first. Ain't nobody coming. Uh Uh-uh. I'm the first, and I am the last. He, he, he's saying, I'll whoop up on them. These little gods, whoever they are. 
Buddha. His name is bad anyway. Buddha. <laughs> Buddha? I'll, I'll whoop up on a Buddha. Tell, tell him to do something. He ain't going to do it. He can't do it. How you doing, Sister Barlow? That's my sweetie pie right there. Forty-five, twenty-one, and twenty-three. We're still in Isaiah. Isaiah was man. He he's like uh, he's a bad boy. He's like Lord, I'm I'm doing what you say. You know, yes. Forty-five, twenty-one through twenty-three. Somebody give me the time too. What is it? My goodness. No, my babies, they, some of them have already started school and some of them are still, I know OPS has started on Thursday and, you know, I don't want y'all screaming at them because when they, grades come in and they bad. Uh Uh-oh. Kai said they, 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 mo- they do more than scream. So, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. 45 and 21. Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from the, who hath, who hath told it from that time? Mm-hmm. Hath not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just, a just God and a savior. There is none beside me. So, you know, he's brave. The, 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 you can't, you can't hold nothing. What you going to do with God? What you going to do with him? You know, he's so, he's so bold. Like, what? tell him I'm the great I am. And I am sent you. See what, what's up with that? Okay, we're going um, to do one more in, in Isaiah. Um, some of the same things are in the New Testament. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Tina to write the New Testament down so you can see that it matches with the Old Testament. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to read one other uh, verse about the God spirit, and then I'm going to be done. I'll let y'all go. Okay. Uh, okay. Keith, could you read that one for me? 45. The scripture is Isaiah 46, five through nine. To whom will ye liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be alike. They lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver in the balance and hire a goldsmith, and make it a god. They fall down, yea, they worship. They bear upon him the shoulder, they carry him, and set him in his place, and he standeth. From his place shall he not remove. Yea, one shall, cry, one shall cry unto him, yet can he not answer, nor save him out of, the, out of his trouble? Remember this, and show yourselves, men, Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. He keeps repeating it. I am God. Come on, righteous. You're the righteous. He chose you. He picked you. And you have to come through. It's, I'm telling you, it's, it's horrible when you don't come through. When you're not obedient to his word. We're going to, um, we're going to go through, I, I said the nature of God, the oneness of God. And he does not have plural centers of consciousness. You know how, like, mediators, they mediate everybody. 
<laughs> but God is a one God. He knows you. He, he knows everything about you because he made you. He created you. And he needs you to recognize that. Recognize that at all times. Be obedient. I'm obedient. And sometimes, you know, I was really scared when he tell me to do something because I'm like, man, what, am, what if I'm wrong, Lord? Something that you gave me and, and I was wrong. Huh, Kwana? Then he was like, you choose. Be obedient. If you're wrong, you're going to get it right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, um, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm anything, you know. I just want God to be, I want him to be proud of me. He is my father. He is my father. Let me just read to you the spirit of God, okay? God, first of all, is a spirit. Keith, would you read John 4 and 24? Would you write that down for them? For my peoples. John, John 4, 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So if, you're, if you ain't worship him in spirit and in truth, you that other spirit. Yeah, I know what that one is. Yeah. I'm, I sit here, and Vira was telling me, Vira is something else. She, she got lots of words for you, babe. And so does my daughter, who she has prophesied on me and told me some things. But, um, okay, what was I talking about? I lost them. And in truth. So if you're not worshiping the spirit in truth, like I said, you're some other kind of spirit. And I have seen them come in here. You know, and she was telling me, May, I, I see you in your eyes and what you moving around. So as P. Lenny told me that, I, I be watching your eyes. You know, we guard our bishop, the markers and, 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 uh, Brian and my other baby back there. And Kenny is here tonight. Diego is a, Diego is a, he's an excellent young man. <laughs> Kenny. I couldn't even be in the class with Kenny because everybody would be laughing. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's such an intelligent young man. You know, you have to be intelligent to come up with all of those funny things. But he get it from his mama. Yeah, yeah, he get it, yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all yes, threw me off. All right, so... Uh, we were, you heard that God is um, God is a spirit. He is not made of physical matter. He is inside to humans, unless he, he he is. I'm sorry. He is invisible to humans, unless he reveals himself in some way. So. God is visible, uh, Trey. Is God visible? Way to go, Trey. I didn't think you was listening. Yes, you are, man. <laughs> okay. 
So he, he, if he makes himself, but he, he ain't going to do that. <laughs> um, he is omnipresent, and that means that everywhere he's present. He's there. He's there. So you can't get away with anything. Nuh-uh. -uh. If you think you are getting away with it, man. <laughs> and he, he, like, uh-huh, I saw you. Here, I'm going to write you a little note, let you know. I saw that. And you want to know where that note came from. Just look up there. <laughs> okay. Can somebody pick that up for me, please? Thank you so much, beautiful. Ain't she pretty? Gosh. He is omniscient, all-knowing, and wise, and omnipotent, all, 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 all powerful. In short, he is transcendent. That means above and beyond human existence. At the same time, he loves humans. He loves us so much. I know that for a fact. He loves me. He loves you. He loves you, P. Lenny. He loves you, Lana. He's crazy about you, Tinka. He loves you, Vicky. He loves you, Bree. And my baby Q. Chaz, he loves you. That's why I love you. That's my little niece over there. But he loves humans. At the same time, he participates in a human affairs. He participates in our lives. So you have to recognize what's God and what is, I'm not going to even speak that thing's name because I said, I'm not giving you no attention tonight. This is all about God. Yeah. He gets the glory. That's why he sent me here. And God works to deliver people from sin. He, he doesn't want anybody. He doesn't want anybody to make it in. He wants you to make it in. But there's things that you got to do. He loved us so much. He gave us a will. He said, I'm not going to make you. I love you, but I'm not going to make you love me. You're going to have to make that decision on your own. It's good to see you, my beautiful Zuri. She's so special. She's, she's such a fighter. She's a fighter. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is also imminent. That is involved with his creation. Manifesting himself to humans. And actively working in their lives. So if you don't pay attention and know that God is doing something for you, you got to get on it. You got to get on it. Good to see you too, Trey. And I just, you know, I'm so amazed that you mothers, the parents, You'd be bringing, and especially Brandy and 
bringing how many kids? Five? <laughs> Makai, 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 you're going to be a comedian, man. Come here, he said, he said, I said, how many kids are five? He said, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, my Lord. But the Lord manifests himself to humans and actively working himself to humans. The Bible describes God as a single, I'm sorry. The Bible describes God as a single personal being who thinks. We already know that because we, his thoughts are higher than ours, huh? Amen. He feels and he acts. He is not an abstract, impersonal substance in which multiple actors can dwell in which multiple personalities can participate. Ain't no way. Because he is two gods, three gods. What is he, y'all? One God. One God. So that's all I have to say tonight to you. Um, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you, Tina. Love you, beautiful ladies. Lana. Janielle. All of, all of them. This is my, my Sunday school. They here. My mother, Gracie, is back, y'all, in here. Woo, that's my girl. My boo-boo kitty. And Mother Williams. Emma, Emma is here. I love me some Emma. And Josh. And I can't forget Zachariah. That's my Zachariah. Do you hear your... <laughs> what you doing, Zachariah? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to ask um, KT uh, to pray and um, ask Marcus to come up after that for altar call because we want to get P, P. Lenny out of here. She's got she she needs to get out of here. Um, I want to thank you, Keith, so much. Amen. God God gave me a lot of um, gave me three daughters. One I birth, one birth through the heart, and the other one through the heart. Candace is not here because. She's getting her classroom ready to make her a teacher. <laughs> and then he gave me three sons, um, Marcus, Dre, and, and, and Stefan. Stefan. So wonderful. And, you know, Dave Young always been my, my boo. Yes, that's been my boo. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you so much. Precious Lord, Father, and Savior in heaven. Lord, we thank you for May May. <laughs> if we're honest, she's been a blessing to each and every one of us. <laughs> but she stressed tonight how much God means to her. 
And she wanted to encourage us by that, Father. Hallelujah. In your name. She came with Isaiah, Father. She didn't hold back. Stuff she learned, not only from Pastor Linda, but from being in this sanctuary for such a long, dedicated time. She's admitted that she's seen so much. She's seen saints and ain'ts. She's seen them come and go. But she talked about the remnant that's here today. Lord, let's remember what she taught us as she piggybacked off the bishop that God don't play. That we need to recognize who he is. That he's one God and that you have to love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your body, all your front, all your back, all your butt, all your front. You have to love him with everything. She stressed that. Also that God created the universe all by himself. He did not need our help or our advice. Lord, we thank you that you're the one that did it. Because we sure would have messed it up. That there's no other God beside him. And that God is incomparable to any human, any God anything on this earth because God made this earth hallelujah so that just reminds us she stressed for each and every one of us that we need to make sure like she's taught in her class like every class teaches here you must have your own personal relationship with God that we have to draw nigh to him so that he can draw near to us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, amen.